Life was really hard for me. I was raised by a single mother. My father died when I was in grade four. I was depressed knowing that there's nobody to provide for the family. So as a result, I started hustling for my family and not thinking about school. In fact, I had no hope of going to school. I was in charge of digging the foundations for large buildings, carrying heavy blocks on my, on my shoulders. It was physically challenging for a young boy like me. At that age, I was really young. I was 12 years old. My mother became desperate to say that my children need to go to school. So my two sisters were taken by my uncle. And then I was taken by my mother's friend, my call my aunt. She started abusing me. She demanded sex from me every day. She was threatening me to say that if I don't have sex with her, she would stop paying my school fees. I stayed there for, for about a year. And when I refused, she kicked me out of the house. I was left to sleep outside the house. As a result, I slept in one of the drainages that was near to her place without eating, without drinking water, without proper comfort, without any blanket. I felt lonely. I had nobody to turn to, no shoulder to cry to. I was just alone. I went to my mother's place. She confronted the same friend and they argued. But I said, Mom, you can't do anything. It has already been done. And she was like, my son, I'm so sorry. Then she started crying. And every time she, she cried, I felt bad. I felt as if I wasn't supposed to be born in their family. I started school with the, with the little money that I had, but it wasn't enough. Every time the fee expired, I would be kicked out of school. So as a result, I just stopped and stayed home, just trying to provide for my family. And I started thinking to myself to say that school wasn't meant for me. I started feeling the evil things they were doing to me to say they were normal. My mother thought to herself to say that I should start a business in order for me to find money. So sometimes she, she was the one going to the market selling. Sometimes I was the one going to the market selling. So there's this day where we went together. A woman, an unknown lady, just came to my mom and asked, why is your son selling? Why is he not in school? Then my mom replied to say, we have no money to pay for his school fees. The lady started telling my mom about African Vision of Hope to say that there is a free school a free school in which your son can be enrolled into. Then my mother was like, you are lying. Since at that time, she, 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 she didn't believe anything. Anything free to her was, was a lie. One of the teachers at the African Vision of Hope, Chongwe, told my mother to say she should go and speak to the child protection officer. So my mother confronted the CPO the CPO saw potential in me and said we can be able to create a place for him. He took me in at the, the rescue homes. He started killing me as, as if I'm one of his own children. Upon reaching there, I felt heaven on earth because everything I had ever dreamed of was there. I'm sleeping on my own bed, having clean blankets, having everything that I've ever wanted. Just having three meals a day, it's something else for me. It's paradise, it's heaven on earth. When I was at the African Vision of Hope board game in Chongo, Mr. Fizzo, the same CPO, and he's the patron, introduced me to Jesus Christ. Now that I set Jesus as my example, I'm free. I'm free from thinking about the things that happened in the past. In fact, I'm free because Jesus is in my life now. It's, it's all because of the, the passion. Next year, I'll be graduating. I'll be having my school certificate and 
Hopefully, I know that my mom will be very proud of me, and that's what makes me happy. After I graduate, I want to go to the university, and I want to be a pilot. I just want to say thank you to African Vision of Hope for everything that they have given me, everything that they are doing in my life, because without them, I wouldn't have been here. They revived the hope that was in me. Um, there's this saying that that's in my family, they say um, a problem shared is a problem solved, but I say a story shared is a story helped. So thank you for everything that you're giving us. Thank you for everything that you're providing for us, and may God continue blessing you.